We are learning more about this secret surprise meeting between House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the Ukrainian president. Yeah, the trip comes as Russia ramps up its attacks, even targeting an area housing arms and ammunition sent by the United States. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington with more. Good morning, Evrod, Rhonda. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is now the highest ranking U.S. official to visit the Ukrainian capital since the war started. She says she wanted to show America's unflinching support for Ukraine. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and a U.S. delegation walking in the streets of Kyiv with President Zelensky. Their visit under wraps for security reasons. We believe that we are visiting you uh, to say thank you uh, for your fight for freedom. Zelensky expressing gratitude for the support. Thank you very much for this support. It's very important and I think you have to know that we'll win. Attacks against Ukraine are intensifying. The Russian Defense Ministry says it struck 800 targets in 24 hours over the weekend, including a hangar with weapons supplied by the West. We need all the assistance we can get in defensive weapons, in, in military support, in uh, financial support, but also in humanitarian support. President Biden wants Congress to approve an additional $33 billion for five months of aid for Ukraine. Republicans and Democrats signaling they'll back it. Every day we don't send them more weapons uh, is a day where more people will be killed in a day where they could lose uh, this war. The Senate Majority Leader is also pushing to seize assets of Russian oligarchs and use the proceeds to help Ukrainians. It's time for sanctioned Russian oligarchs to be held accountable for the ill-gotten wealth that they have received. Situation in Ukraine, how to help them, what, what kind of support they need. Speaker Pelosi meeting with Poland's president this morning, thanking him for supporting Ukraine through humanitarian efforts. Poland has the largest influx of Ukrainian refugees. Officials say their humanitarian operation in Mariupol continues today. So far, more than 100 civilians have been evacuated from the besieged steel plant. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Local 4 News.